G'day, good to see you there. Well, welcome along to this video, getting back to the basics of Fusion 360. And this time what we're gonna be doing is creating the drawing. Okay, a drawing you might add, you might ask, what is that? Well, it's what you used in the workshop to create your doorstop. So there are two types of drawings on this one page. And we're gonna create something similar. It's gonna look slightly different uh, to this and you'll see in the video. We've got what's called an orthogonal drawing, which is where we look at um, views of our product. So we've got a side view and a top view. We could also have an end view if that was relevant for what we needed. But because we can get all the information off the side and the top view for this particular model, then that's all we need. We've also got this one down here. This is a 3D um, drawing, and we call this an isometric drawing. Okay, so we've got an isometric and an orthogonal drawing here on the page that we're going to replicate. So let's go to Fusion and get started. And so you'll see here we've got the, the doorstop. What you need to do is open up the doorstop that you physically made. Well, you don't need to do this for both. You can if you've, you've got this done quickly as an extension um, or if you want more practice. But we open up our drawing. We could do that two ways. We could go file and open and search through, or we can click on this little data panel thing and it opens it up here. Now, if I go back to home, all right, I've got lots and lots of different folders. Now, for you, you won't have this many folders. You'll have about five, maybe six sort of folders, but you should have your year eight D&T folder. Now, if you don't, that means you didn't create that properly at the start when we talked about that, and that's okay. We can go back and sort that out. We need to find it. So this is like a folder system on your computer. So double click into that. I've got two folders here. I'm gonna go into doorstop. And then I would open up, I've already opened it up, I'd open up whatever doorstop it is that I made in the workshop. So just by double clicking, I'll open up doorstop two just for the hell of it. All right, so now I've got the doorstop open. What we need to do, just before we go and actually do the drawing, one thing we didn't do before was add an appearance. So to add an appearance, it makes it look like timber. So to do that, we go up to modify, click on that drop down button, and we go down to appearance. Now, if you hit A on your keyboard, you can get there very, very quickly. I'm just gonna move my head over here so it's out of the way. Now, in appearance, if we scroll down on the right-hand side here, we can get down to lots of different options. So we wanna find the wood solid, which is right at the bottom. Now, depending on your settings on the computer, I just have to click once and it opens. I wanna to go to finished. I'm gonna scroll down to pine semi-gloss. Now, because I've done this before, it doesn't have the little arrow like this one. If yours has an arrow, you're gonna to need to click on that and you'll see it does this little blue thing here, that's it downloading, and now you're able to use that. If you click on that and it says it can't download, that means there would be updates up in here, okay? So if you've gotta update your Fusion 360, which needs to be done regularly, you need to update it, you'll get a notice there saying it will do it and you'll click on it and it will be able to update. Once you've updated, then um, you'll be able to come back into appearance and you'll be able to scroll down and you will be able to download the uh, appearance that you want. I want you to find the 3D Pine Semi-Gloss and then all you do is click on it and drag it onto the model. Hey presto, looks like a bit of timber. How fantastic. All right. So now into the drawing. We come up to this button at the top left hand corner, we click design, we go down to the drawing option from design. So we click on that, wait for a few seconds, it comes up with a little box like this. Now if yours are different to this, change them so that they're the same. If they're the same as this, then just click OK. It will do its thing for a couple of seconds. we we'll just wait patiently. And here we go. It's already opened up. And you can see I've got the doorstop here. It's already opened up that base view. All right. So that's already highlighted blue. And you've already got this box over here for what we call the base view. And that's the first one we want to do. Now we can decide on what that base view is. So let's go to the top option. See now we've got that top view. And the other thing we can do is we can come over and we can choose our scale. So let's go one to one. So it means it's gonna be on the page in its correct size. So 
what we can do is we can click on the page. Let's do it about there. Okay, right in the middle, sort of. Once we've done that, uh, we want to then click OK, and you'll see it's drawn that line on. So that is our base view. And now we can use the orthogonal um, method to project the other views. So this is why the drawing part's easy. Uh, the harder part is modeling it. So we come up to the second button here on the left to project the view, click on that. And then we need to select the view that we want to project. It's called the parent view, as you can see by hovering. Click once. And now if I drag it up, drag it down, drag it out, drag it out, or on the diagonal, I can get all the different views. So I want that one there. That's all I want, because if I go, if I go back to the drawing here, it's got the side view and the top view. So uh, let's have a look. Where's my fusion gone? So if you right click with your mouse and go cancel, that will end that. All of a sudden, we've got our two views. The last one we want to do is that isometric. Now, if we projected like we did off of this one, it had it on its side. So we're actually going to select this one and we're just going to come down on the angle and we're done now. Right click cancel and we've got that I'm gonna bring that down into that corner and you can see now it's overlapping so we can do a bit of moving around we can click on that base view we might even bring that up like so and that's how I want you to set it up now it doesn't matter which one you're doing set it up like so okay the last couple of things we want to do is if we go back to this drawing, Mr. Paddingales, you see how it's got these dashed lines here? They're what we call hidden lines. And this one, you can see it's solid. It's got that material on it. So we want to put in the hidden lines and we want to make this solid. And go back to Fusion. What we can do is we can double click on this one here. And when we're in there, we're going to take it from this option across to Shaded. Click on that out of it hey presto you've got it there this one is where we want those dashed lines those hidden lines so we double click on it and we come up and we click visible and hidden edges hey presto it's done so that's how easy it is to, to change those two things the very last thing that you need to do is what we call the dimensioning and that's where we come up to the top here and we click on the dimension tool we now need to replicate the dimensions that are on this one. So we've got overall length, got overall height, and then that thickness there, as well as the width. So let's do those first. Go back into here, click our tool. We can either click on the edge or we can click point to point. Okay, so it's really up to you. So I'll show you on the edge here. I can click on the edge, drag it out, click again, and I've got the size. Or I could zoom in and I could click on point, point, drag out, click again. Okay, so it's really up to you and which method you want to use. Um, we're just going to do this here. And that's almost what we need. So the last few little bits and pieces are in here. We want to put the sizes for those circles. We also want to put in that height. I haven't done that yet. Oh, go back to fusion. Now, I can't get the right length there. Oh, cancel. Right click to cancel. See how it's got the, just to the center of that hole? I'm going to delete that. And I'm actually going to click point to point there. There's my size. Okay. The other one I want to do, point to point. There's my size there. All right. So, we've got those in. The last thing is these sizes across the circle so you literally just click on the edge itself drag out click again so there's your middle circle you see the arrow from there to there shows the middle circle is 20 um, diameter and this arrow showing from the center point to the edge is a radius of 22.5 let's go back to the drawing see if we're missing anything we got those two things we've got all of that i think we're almost all done so back to Fusion, you can see it automatically puts my name. When you do it, it will put your name and the date in, and it's got whatever you saved it as has the name there. So that's what I want you to, to do it. Now, if you want that to fit back in the screen, you can click this button, and 
we are now going to save it because at the moment we haven't saved this drawing. So we go up to the save button and we're, it's already got door stop one. I'm just going to make that capital drawing. Okay. So make sure it goes into the same folder and you can check that by opening that up. Year eight, door stop, and there it is. So that's good. It should automatically put it into the same folder that you created earlier. So uh, let's hit save. Give it a couple of seconds. The last thing you need to do is to actually export this as a PDF and then uh, print it out. So we go over here, come over here and we click the export button export as PDF. And I always click the open PDF so it automatically opens it for you. Go OK. It will do its thing. It comes up with it. This is where you save it onto your computer. So if I go to my desktop, I've got a year 8 DNT folder in there. So this is where I'd be saving it. Now I'll put V1 as version 1. Just backspace that. Door stop 1 drawing and hit save. It will save it but it will also open it up. There it is, and now we can go through the process of printing a file. And my face is in the way again. Oh, file print, and then we can select the right printer. And also make sure you go into properties and change it from black and white to color. Go OK, and then hit print. Um, for the school printer here, and away you go. That needs to go into your folder, all right? And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, well done. You have now modelled... You've now modelled your doorstop. If I go back to it... Oh, it's a different thing. You've modelled your doorstop, and you've now created the drawings for the doorstop, orthogonal and isometric, and then you have printed them out ready to if you were to build this now or give it to somebody else to build they should be able to do that pretty easily all right so well done and uh, look forward to seeing these printed out and in your folder and uh, we'll see you soon thanks